So John, one of the main attributes we were looking to uh, deliver to the dentist was great handling characteristics, which are so important. You can have great technology, and in this case we do. We have the, the material that is delivering calcium and phosphate to the tooth structure and to help uh, seal the tooth and uh, work with our uh, current Activa restorative material. But of course, handling characteristics are always the most important factor and the most important variable that we try to help the clinician out with. So we call this a universal stackable material. And as you will see, it, uh, it has a flow characteristic, but it also has the ability to stand on its own without moving. If I could demonstrate, if you will. i show you there's no indication that the material has moved. But yet at the same time, you can take this material and easily manipulate it and move it around because it, it wants to follow the instrument. So whatever the clinician is trying to do in terms of forming a good uh, contact in a, in a nice matrix or something like that, you can actually just paint right to, the mar right to the contact area and or to the floor of the preparation up to the axial walls with complete control without creating air bubbles. And that's the, one of the primary things that we're trying to eliminate from all of our materials is our air bubbles. Air bubbles are not your friend as a clinician and certainly not ours as a, as a manufacturer. So the, the, the material can be added to at any point in time. We recommend that you build it up in two to three millimeter increments and then like here. And one of the reasons we do this is because we're trying to protect the pulp. Uh, so creating a, an insulating layer first. There we go. Sorry about that. <laughs> so we're just going to uh, cure this material for 20 seconds. And for the sake of time, I'll move this away. Then we'll go ahead and finish our preparation completely at this point. Obviously, we're not working with the matrix here, but you, again, it shows the complete control that you have with the material. And at this point, again, you can take an instrument and you can bring it to whatever area of the tooth that you're trying to accommodate. It's almost like painting. And so typically a dentist could use a stamp technique to create the occlusal form or they could use uh, overbuild and cut back with rotary instruments or uh, you can actually start to um, manipulate the material to create that central groove easily with just pulling the material how you wish to have it like that. And of course always trying to avoid those air bubbles. So what's happening as this material is being placed is ions, uh, calcium and phosphate uh, uh, ions are being released along with fluoride. And the material has a hydrophilic resin, has the ability to release and recharge these ions with saliva and also with dentinal fluids. It's the perfect mate to the tooth structure because what is tooth structure made of? It's made of calcium and phosphate. Now the reason I use these models is so that we can remove the restoration and you can see absolutely no voids and that there's perfect polymerization at the bottom level, which is the most important area that we're concerned about is how do we seal that interface at the dentin um, uh, restorative material interface. Uh, Activa Presto works with every bonding agent on the market. It is uh, especially good with the newer universal adhesives because they're also highly phosphonated as the Activa Presto is. One additional factor that uh, we are uh, very um, uh, proud of is a patent on a rubberized urethane chemistry. That means that you can run this material at uh, thin margins, like for example, uh, radius bevels um, or uh, slight angulations at the margins so that we can resist chipping and cracking that you would see with typical uh, composite materials. 
So again, unlike uh, typical composites, uh, this material is hydrophilic. It likes moisture. It's actually interacting with the moisture in the oral environment. It also has the, uh, the strength of the best uh, composites in the world. And the aesthetics, if, I, if you don't mind me saying, are very, very good. And so it's a, the best combination of what uh, dentistry has enjoyed all the last 20 years with composite materials, but it also has that, um, those ionic abilities that you will not find in current composites today. And so it's a unique material. And the benefit, of course, we like to think uh, the, the benefit is really truly for the dentist, but really this, the real benefit factor of this material is the patient. Longer lasting restorations because we're trying to uh, avoid the number one issue in dentistry and that's leakage of all restorations. So we're really just trying to seal the tooth. And the only way we have found you can do that is with the use of minerals. So that's why these materials are highly phosphonated. They have calcium and they have that fluoride that we love and enjoy to help reduce acid erosion.